Hey everybody, I'm Argolfumpf. This is Marcella Moon, Secret on the Hill. A mystery adventure game. We start with Marcella getting a phone call from Oscar. Oscar, so great to hear from you. How's it going? Hey Marcella, are you still in Europe? I may have a case for you. Yes, I am in Europe. What's wrong? I need your help finding one of my colleagues, Amelia Goldstone. She's a writer, went to Ireland to research her book. I haven't heard from her in over a week. Oh no, was she there by herself? Yeah, she's been staying at the Rowan Tree Inn for a past couple of months. I take it it's unusual for her to not answer your phone calls? Yeah, I'm an awesome guy. Everyone wants to answer my phone calls. And she's got that book deadline and everything. Why would she just disappear? Have you contacted the police? Yeah, and I talked to the innkeeper at Rowan Tree. And the innkeeper said she moved out a few days ago. And, well, nobody thinks it's a case. Do you think there was foul play? I don't know what to think. I can't think of any reason why someone would attack her. I can't think of any reason why she wouldn't contact me. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this. I see. I know you're good at solving these kinds of cases, so I thought, if you got your feet on the ground, you could find something that would let us know she's safe. Don't worry, I'll find out where she is. You can count on me to figure this out. I'll pack my bags and head there ASAP. Woohoo! Good job, Marcella. Okay, so Marcella shows up here in Ireland. I take it this is the inn. Hmm. Alrighty. Aha, this looks like someone we can talk to. Uh, hi, I have a room reserved for Marcella Moon. Of course, here's your key. You'll be staying in room 102, the first door on the left when you enter the inn. Do you need help with your bags? I'm fine, thank you. Make yourself at home. We don't get too many guests at the height of the rainy season. And unfortunately, the rainy season is long. What I'm saying is, you won't have too much noise bothering you during your stay. I appreciate your hospitality. This is a very beautiful inn. Very beautiful inn. How long have you owned it? Oh, five generations. My parents ran it before me and their parents before them. And uh, Amelia was here for a few months. She has, and I'm grateful thanks to her staying so long. I've got enough money to start mending the fence out back. When did she check out of the inn? Hmm, must have been Thursday, about four days ago. So do you know where she went? Where could she have gone? I'm sorry I can't say. Miss Goldstone was one of the quieter guests we've had around the inn. She seemed to be very focused on her work. She only came down to get her meals, mainly. Aside from that, I don't concern myself too much with the comings and goings of my guests. I make sure they have a nice place to stay and they're well fed. And from there, I just mind my own business. Well, where did she like to go when she was in town? I imagine the same place as all our visitors go. The beach, the museum, up the mountain, maybe to Finn's pub. Hmm, that sounds great. That's all. Thanks for now. You you have fun. Aaron just hanging around in short shorts in the middle of the rain weather. It's, it's very odd. Okay, what's this? This is my desk. Oh, oh no, wait. This is Amelia's room. Okay. Legends of Ireland. The Fianna were a band of mythical Irish warriors. Their leader, Fionn McCool. Finn McCool. Obviously, Finn McCool. That's awesome. So, uh, Fionn fell in love with a beautiful woman and wanted to marry her, but an evil druid used his magical powers to turn her into a deer. Fionn and Siad learned that if they returned to Fionn's homeland near Ben Bulban Mountain, Siad would turn human again. So they returned to the mountain where they got married and had a child. But before the child was born, the evil druid came back and turned her back into a deer. Oh my gosh. Okay. This, this evil druid certainly has a thing for deer, I'd have to say. Well, okay. So one day as Fionn was hunting on the mountain, he saw a boy in the mountains. The boy didn't know how to speak, but Fionn took him back to the village and gave him shelter. Once the boy learned how to speak, he said he was raised by a deer on the mountain. Fionn realized it was his son. He named the boy Oisin, meaning young deer, who would become a fantastic warrior. Interesting legend indeed. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so what else do we have? Ah, this desk. Amelia Goldstone has been traveling around Ireland for 20 years, documenting stories, 
Her book will be available May 30th. Hmm, nice. Okay. Well, cool. We need to find this missing author here in Ireland. Doesn't look like we can look at anything else. Yep, yep, that's it for this room. Let's see, we can go through that room. Uh, doesn't look like we can go upstairs. Aaron, how are you doing? Aaron is just gonna stare at me blankly. Yeah, okay, so let's leave. Let's see. Can't go left, can't go right. Must go backwards. Backwards to town. What are we gonna do here in town? Let's see. Mm. So if I go to the right, that's the pub. If I go to the left, that's dragon area. What is this area? We, we've got dragons. And Sayori... This person. Hi! She is smiling at me. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hello and welcome to Sligal Gift Shop. Here you'll find all your fairy souvenirs, jewelry, dolls, fairy wings, you name it. What brings you to town? I'm investigating the disappearance of Amelia Goldstone. Oh, well in that case, I'm Saurice O'Reilly, owner of the shop. I've heard about Miss Goldstone and frankly, I'm quite concerned. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly! Uh, uh, why are you concerned? Well, this area is well known throughout the world for its supernatural activity. It's been haunted by the good people for many centuries. <gasps> the good people? Y you mean fairies? Yes, fairies are known to live in this area. Up on Ben Burb in the mountain right outside of town. It's said to be one of the only places in the world where humans can see fairies with their bare eyes. Sometimes the fairies cause trouble for the townsfolk, and in some cases they kidnap humans who cross their paths. You think Amelia was kidnapped by fairies? I can tell you don't believe me, but you should take what I'm saying seriously. If the good people have Amelia, that would be very bad for her. Why? In Ireland, fairies aren't some frilly, pretty children's plaything. Fairies can be dangerous. Human encounters with fairies resulted in people being kidnapped, going mad, or worse. Oh man, so have you ever seen a fairy? Well, I've never seen one, if that's what you mean. But strange things have happened in this town. Things being moved around, people claiming they heard someone speaking when no one was around. I personally try to avoid any contact with the good people. You just never know what might happen if one of them takes a shine into you. They might punch you in the face, and then the shining becomes a shiner. Oh, I don't want to be punched in the face by a fairy. So why would a fairy punch her? I mean, why would a fairy take her? Lots of reasons. Angry fairies take away adults who disrespect animals or nature. Some fairies just want entertainment. Or they might need a human to help with some task. Nice fairies take children away for playtime. Did you ever feel like you lost time as a child? Not sure. Sometimes fairies will take a child away to play games. Sometimes a child doesn't remember any of it. Sometimes they come back having some uh, remembrance of this other world. Of course, parents think it's just imagination. <laughs> ha! No, they were kidnapped by fairies. So did Amelia ever come in here? She's been in here quite a few times. She's very interested in stories about the fairies and other local legends. She's one of my best customers. And what do you think of Erin O'Sullivan? She's pretty nice, very talented gardener. She comes in every day to set up the flower display in the gift shop. I should get going. Stop by any time and buy stuff. Buy stuff from me. No, seriously, I want you to buy all my stuff. Okay, so we have... Ooh, it looks like this is a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh-oh, uh I gotta read this paper. Okay, so fairies, also known as the gentry, are the good people. They've been a part of Irish folklore for centuries. Supernatural race, drawn ancient places. What's the fairy door? On the mountain, there's a fairy door, which is the bridge between human world and fairy world. It's the only place where fairies are visible to humans. Hmm. Fairy gifts. In some cases, fairies have been known to help those who seek them out. So a person who wants to be married could find a fairy circle, and then they do a ritual. The fairies might help them, help them get married within a year. Oh, that's great. The, hairy... <laughs> the fairies help somebody find a boyfriend. Oh, that's that's just great of them. They are such nice people. Uh, they also play music. And uh, fairy kidnapping. Ooh, that's... Wait, maybe those two things are connected. Like, somebody really wanted to be married, so the fairies kidnapped a husband for them. Yeah! Oh, well, I suppose that's one way to find a bride or a, a groom. I don't know. Fairy world might not be safe. 
You, you need to be nice to animals so the fairies won't kidnap you and force you to marry somebody. And fairy circles generally look like mushrooms. Great. Okay. So this is not actually a puzzle area. It's just a pamphlet about fairies. Nice. Uh, looks like we have uh, some cool designs. Cool designs. Let's look at these ones. Let's see. We have dragons, earrings. Ooh, bands. Those are actually kind of cool. Yeah. And I think that's uh, about it. Yeah, no. Ooh, we have a puzzle. Ooh, man, we have a puzzle. So when we find the missing piece, we'll be able to solve the puzzle. And we have more, more Irish stuff we can check out here. Cool. Hello, is somebody there? Hello? Who's there? I'm Marcella. What? Marcella! Umbrella? Sir, I need to... Come back later, I'm taking a nap! Hello? Okay. Clearly there is somebody who is randomly falling asleep in the gift shop, and we probably shouldn't disturb him. <laughs>